let's start off tonight with that daring escape of three prisoners serving life sentences from the committee maximum prison. Now, the three who were convicted of robbery with violence cut the grills to their cells and tied blankets and mosquito nets to make a rope which they used to scale the walls of the highly guarded prison. Prison authorities who could not explain the security lapse say a blackout and heavy rains may have helped the prisoners execute their well-laid-out plan. Here's Rita Tinina with the details. The committee maximum security prison, home to high-risk inmates, the country's most guarded prison. But three inmates outdid the maximum security here. In a well-planned escape mission, Joseph Kenyanjui Getao, Isaac Karanja Mwangi, and John Kamau Gadoni made a daring 1.30 a.m. escape from prison. They cut the grills from within the, the place where they were sleeping. And uh, having cut the grills, then they had made a, a rope with, the, with the, the blankets that they use. And uh, we also give them mosquito nets, just because the area also has, has mosquitoes. So the prisoners are provided with mosquito nets. So they used that to make a rope, which they used to get down from the cells and then uh, to, to, to also scale up the wall. The three escapees had been condemned to death. But their sentences were later commuted to life by then President Mwai Kibaki. Joseph Kenyanjui Getao from Kiambu has been at the prison for the past decade. He was convicted on robbery with violence charges. Isaac Karanja from Thika has spent the past eight years at the prison after being convicted of robbery with violence in 2007. Joseph Kenyanjui and Isaac Karanja escaped from cell number 24. In cell number 20, John Kamau Gadoni from Nyandarwa was on the same mission. He was sentenced to hang on two counts, robbery with violence and indecent assault of a female before his sentence was commuted to life. What prison authorities cannot explain is how the three escaped from the high-risk section of the prison, Block D. There may have been a lapse in security, which we have actually been investigating from that hour. We've even called in the police. They are all over. And all those people who are in those sections, we are all going to interrogate all of them. And uh, whoever will be found to have lapsed, uh, as far as the security is concerned, uh, definitely uh, the law will take its own course. The inmates not only managed to escape from Block D, they did so just next to a watchtower. There is a watchtower. Maybe the one you saw that is near is not uh, being used. You could see new towers and old towers. And uh, at that time, it was raining heavily. And there was also a blackout. So they could also have taken advantage of, of, of that situation at that moment. Committee Maximum Security Prison was built in the 1950s, and some 2,000 inmates are currently serving jail terms here. Prison authorities say the facility is ill-equipped to handle high-risk criminals, some of them convicted of emerging crimes. We would need to have an electric fence around that. We would need to have the razor wires. We would need, you can see, you can walk up to the prison. We would need a buffer zone. So, so funds are really required. Prison authorities and the police have launched a manhunt for the fugitives and are warning the public that the three are highly dangerous. Rita Tinina. KTN.